Hey guys, welcome back to Tokyo Mirage Sessions, and in this episode, we're gonna hopefully wrap up this dungeon. Sort of. Yeah, we got to the halfway point in the previous episode, but the thing about this dungeon is there's a whole lot of halfway points. I'll be elaborating on that in a little bit, but yeah. This next segment is a little bit on the tricky side, but, well, there is some new enemies to take on, so that'll be exciting, and hopefully we will encounter all of them. If not, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of extra work, and come on, be a dark cleric or something new! If not, I'd be relatively upset, and wow, we got the first strike. That must be a really easy enemy, if that's the case, but let's see who we're up against. We got the Bacillicus. Bacillicus? Okay, they're the blob enemies, but they have weirder shoes, and also the Dark Archer, who we saw in the previous episode. So, yeah, um, these guys kind of all suck, and I'm just gonna mabufu them with Kyria. Kyria, while a little bit on the slow side, as you can see her turn order, she's like really back there. Not always the best in every scenario, but if she gets the initiative going, man, she's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. Well, let's see, huh? Well, I can't really get the session going with him, so instead of turn up a go -go. And yeah, I probably will change the costumes, guys. I know a couple people are like, don't use the same costume over and over again, I hate it. It's like, uh, why does everyone hate on my favorite Atlas games, man? Come on, but whatever. I'll probably be changing that maybe in the next episode, but for right now, I just, I just want to appreciate them a little bit, Lauren. Dang, Toma's actually the highest level? What the heck's going on with it? I mean, I'm not upset, I'm just like, well, that's kind of taking me aback. He was... Kind of falling behind there in the EXP back in the day, but right now he's doing pretty well. And I hope I can get over to those treasure chests. I'm not sure what they are. And we got a clap track. That is a really, really nice item to pick up. It basically gives you one SP in the form of an item. That can be really, really handy, and I'm sure we'll be using that in a future encounter. But the gimmick of this dungeon is just these like weird like cylinder things that eventually like it's a it's a picture, obviously, like a photograph, and then just spreads out so you can cross the bridge. I don't know if it's really the most dynamic thing in the world, but I really don't care. And also, something I probably should make mention of, and there is a mirage, I'll tell you this later in the dungeon, but I'll just do it right now, is the spell Lytoma. Detects hidden traps in dungeons. Yeah, pretty cool. It's Kyria's uh, assisting ability. And, well, as you can see, we can see the line of sight of these cameras, so there's literally no way you can get inside of them unless you intend to, which we will have to do that at some point. But yeah, there's an NPC that was really going to tell me that. So I might as well just do it now, and huh, I'm actually not going to battle you. Kind of want to make some more progress before we get going, but man, I'm not going to spoil anything. And, oh, a chest. I almost missed that. <laughs> I've been pretty bad, and I... Oh, sleeping sand, okay. You could probably assume what that art does. <laughs> it's just an item, and cast, and can sleep. Anyways. I don't know about you guys, and I really don't want to talk about like too much of the game later on, but man, this game takes one of my favorite concepts from Fire Emblem and brings it into an RPG, which is really satisfying, not gonna lie, huh, we can't move that yet, but yeah, this is the guy I'll tell you about Light on my he's pretty cool. Nickel Wise, which I just realized might be a reference to a Stephen King book. I'm not really too sure. I know it's not a Fire Emblem reference, because, well, I don't know that. I haven't played every Fire Emblem game. For all I know, there could be a random encounter. No, an enemy based on a clown. And hopefully this has a new encounter for us. If not, I'll be like, oh, there we go. The Skellington. I love that name so much. And the Regal Myrmidon wants to battle. Highly recommend you take down the Regal Myrmidon if you're after a new weapon for Itsuki. And if memory serves me right, uh, I think the right enemy is weak to the Skellington, is weak to Flux. So I'm going to have to use that skewer on the Regal Mirmadon should work since it's very obviously a sword wielder and are awesome. Unfortunately, Kyria still doesn't have that great of session skills. Basically, doesn't use magic, she doesn't care, which is a really bad property to have in this game, kind of thing. And I'm just going to use Rakunda on Itsuki. Why the heck not? And okay, um, hopefully you don't kill me in one hit. Okay, good. Just barely survived that. Yeah, at this point, um, I'm still really, really under level to the stage of the game. Hopefully I can fix that soonish. And okay, it was weak to it. Unfortunately, we don't have any session skills for that, so we'll just have to make do. And if I recall, yeah, I don't really think it's weak to fire, even though it uses ice. Ma Actually, it might be. See, here's the thing. I'm really not that good at remembering, for whatever reason, these enemy types and their weakness. And I thought it was an ad lib, but we don't have that yet. But 
Luckily enough for me, he was also weak to cleave and awesome. He got two star prestige. Yeah, probably working to the three star one pretty soon, which will be exciting. And we got the duelist blade, and nice. So now he's needing its force, and we should be able to make some new weapons for everybody. Awesome. So yeah, a big part of this game is fighting every single type of enemy because you need to get their force, you need to get their performa, and well, Torma can already make a new weapon. That's awesome. And also, yeah, we destroyed this so we can have a little shortcut, which is nice. So basically. This dungeon, if you just go through every single path, eventually you're gonna make it to where you need to go. Oh, that's so creepy. Um, I really hope I'm fighting all the enemies. I know there is one I haven't encountered yet, and I guess we will get to him. And ah, oh, need to find the switch. Crud. So this is the tough part. Eventually, yes, you will come to a closing point. However, the gamepad actually does do this nicely, and your map is like procedurally generated, basically, and I know that's like a word that's commonly used, and people don't know actually what it means, but basically, if you haven't gone down a path before, it will not be shown on your map that you did. So, it's pretty easy to figure out where you need to go, and we got, ooh, Nightlife Glitz. That will let, I'm pretty sure someone get a new Carnage Unity later down the line. I really hope I don't get into a Savage Encounter. Basically, I'm just gonna be honest, I don't even see the point in battling Savage Encounters. Cause really, they just don't benefit you at all. Sure, you might get a slight increase in EXP, but realistically, is it worth game overing for? I personally don't think so. I'd rather not get a game over just because of something that stupid, so that's just how I see it. See. There may be some oh my well. I'm just gonna battle you instead, because yeah, like I was saying, there's literally no point just run from the battle. And speaking of running from battles, I literally just did that because yeah, we're just fighting more giant clown enemies. We have two smokes from a screen. <laughs> Smoke my screens. Holy crud, John. Slow down, bro. Anyways, back to what I was saying though. Really, for this dungeon, and I know I have kind of like just ditched Subasa. Now, there's actually a good reason for that, if I'm being totally honest. I personally don't want to use her, but she is actually pretty strong still, and if you're going up against this boss and struggling, it's not a bad idea to get Mazan on her and Medea. I will probably be doing this as we progress more in the game, and I plan to use her in the next chapter as well, but just keep that in mind that yes, Tsubasa and Kyria are both fantastic to use in this next dungeon, and please leave me alone, gosh, but I'm happy that there's finally a... Did I really just do... Oh my gosh, well, that's really annoying. <laughs> I got sent all the way back because I was thirsty for the chest. Ugh, whatever. Did I, did I literally just... Okay. Let's try that again. Back to what I was saying, though. Yeah, I kind of uh don't like the fact that the map is on the bottom screen because sometimes you'll be like, All right, I know exactly where I need to go. And then you'll look on the screen and you'll get lost. Or something will happen and you'll run into a mirage. So you kind of have to like always stop, and I'm not a super big fan of that, and gosh dang it, alright. So I'm trying to like look around, and I believe this will get me to that like area with the first two chests. So aha, I planned that the whole time, not really. So let's see what's in here, I think it's something good, ooh, treasure key. That's okay, I guess, not really that great, not that terrible. Alright, so pretty safe to assume coming here was a total waste of time, awesome! So let's try and get back to where we were. And okay, back to where we were, almost at the end of the dungeon, and then I decided to lose all my progress. <laughs> God dang it. This game, man. This game and me just, I don't know. It's not that we don't mix. It's that just, wow, I'm pretty bad at it. Because I get very, uh, lax. And just think, it's not that hard. And please be the monster I want to battle. Come on. And guess what? It wasn't. Yeah. I'm at the point where I'm just like, okay, if we battle it, great. If we don't. I don't really care anymore, but we're gonna take a very slight detour, and I actually want to put Lytoma on just so I don't accidentally get jumped by a stick of random camera. Not really a random. I can't get jumped by something that isn't moving, I guess, as much as I can just flat out run into it, but I'm gonna try and look around a little bit just to make sure we aren't missing any performa, and I believe this should be something actually way better than a treasure key, and we got Soma Droplet. Never mind! Well, I mean, that's not bad necessarily. Healing is never a bad thing to grab. But. Just want to try and make sure to get all the chests. The problem is, I actually have no way of knowing if I have every chest because, as I'm sure you've seen, there are segments in this game where there's just chests and we can't really get to them. Because, wait, we're at the end already? Holy crud! Dang, that's awesome! Oh, okay, I'm actually really happy about that. But I'm going to try and explore a little bit some more 
since I am still looking for that last enemy. But back to what I was saying, there are some segments in this game where it's like, okay, I don't know if I have everything because there are these like shortcut doors and I still don't actually know what to make of them. To my knowledge, I can't access them in my main file either and I don't want to keep talking about my main file because I know people don't like spoilers and all that crap. But yeah, I have no idea what their deal is. And let's see, we've got Amrita Sodas times four. Awesome. Yeah, just by the way, for this boss fight, you're probably going to want to Get, get a lot of status healing. Kind of thing. But, okay, I want that. This is the chest I was thinking of. Get the heck out of my way. All right. I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to cherish it, because I want it. And it also made me almost die, and I want this. Now we got a revival beat. All right. I'm not sure if there are any good items here or not, but just to keep it clear, I tried my best to show them all. <laughs> there are any, like, really, really helpful items I'll make sure to point them out at a later date. But yeah, as I was saying, I can't really find out if I've gotten everything or not. In fact, I was kind of impressed in the second dungeon that I did get all that crap. I didn't even know about the that weird pill item, which I still don't know what it does. But I guess we'll figure that out as time goes on. But now that we are here, don't really worry about saving. It, it's it's not a big deal. You don't have to grind up right now. And I sense a danger. Oh, no. Yeah, just, just go in the door. Because I'm going to be totally honest. You don't even need a heal up. You can come in here with one HP, and you would still win this encounter. So don't don't even worry. Don't even save. You're gonna kick its butt. I promise. This might be the easiest battle in video game history. Kind. あ、<笑><笑> シーダ、シーダ。ダメ。シーダが答えてくれない。一旦引こう。カルネージなしでは俺はな、マイコの事務所の人間だって聞いて、お前に期待してたんだよ。写真見る目なくないです。私が証明してみせましょう。ともかく。私だってやるときはやるんです。どうしろうとのくせに。そこまで言うなら、モデルとして俺を唸らせてみせろ。
ソつまらねえもんとっちまった<笑>やっぱり俺の身内はお前だけだぜマイコー樹君ここは出直してこいってことかそうだクロムは俺は大丈夫だあの男のカメラとやらはミラージュの力を一時的に封じることもできるようだ厄介ねねえ見て樹君今度は一体何だすごい人だよみんなあっちの方に何かやってるのかな剣八代さんのライブそっか今日だったんだねゴタゴタのせいですっかりでもなんか変だな街はこんな状況なのにどうしてここだけにぎわってるんだ見ればわかるわえでもこんな時にライブなんてこんな時だからこそよ忘れた今のあなたたちはミラージュマスターなのよ一流のパフォーマンスに触れれば得るものは必ずあるわななるほどチケットは持ってるわねさあ行きましょう白のパフォーマンスは本物彼は数少ない本物のアーティストよ周りを見なさい八代様ああ彼の歌でずさんでいた心が癒された世界はこんなにも輝いているすごい。渋谷がこんな状況なのにファンはん
真に優れたパフォーマンスはどんな状況でも客を見せることができるそれは堀野沢が言っていたことと同じその意味がわかる翼えライブとモデル表現は違えど求めるものは同じそれは見るものを魅了するパフォーマンス見るものを魅了するパフォーマンス見た人を魅了する写真翼に欠けているのは見せ方そのビジョンよビジョン翼がどんな写真を撮ってもらいたいかってことじゃないかな撮ってほしい写真私はどんな写真を撮ってもらいたい Yeah, so apparently, during this crisis where our employer is basically under someone's control, we go to a concert to, to, to learn the power of performing. Yeah, okay. Also, we have a topic thing telling、uh, us to go back to the office because Tiki found someone in the office she doesn't recognize. I should probably go check that out. そうか葵くんはフォルトナのタレントだったのかあまだ見習いって感じですけどどうして畑中さんがうちの事務所に君んとこの社長さんに呼ばれてたんだよそっちの子えー、っと織部翼さんの売り出し方の相談をしたいってねわ私ですかさあさあで島崎社長はいつ戻ってくるのかなしばらく帰ってこられないわそうなのかいせっかく時間を作ったのに弱ったな何かの打ち合わせが長引いてるとか堀野沢信子堀野沢さんとの打ち合わせかへえまだ彼とつながりがあったんだねてっきり彼女が引退したのと同時に切れたものだとばかり思ってたよあんなことがあったらねあんなことあの二人は昔ねモデル業界の名コンビだったんだよそうなんですかさあ今の若い子は知らないのかこれがジェネレーションギャップおじさんちょっとショックということはもしかしてマイコンプレックスも知らないのかいマイコンプレックス島崎社長の写真集だよモデルからマルチタレントに転向した直後に出されたものなんだけどねアンニュイかつコケティッシュな美少をたたえたマイコポーズは日本中の男を虜にしただけでなく当時のファッション業界にも絶大な影響を与えたんだよでその写真集を撮ったのが堀野沢さんなんだよ細かい話は省くけどあの二人は名コンビすぎたんだだから当時深い仲だって噂が流れてねそのせいで二人は一時期業界での立場が危うくなったんだマイコさんにそんな過去がと島崎社長がいないんじゃ仕方ない次の打ち合わせもあるし僕はおいとまさせてもらうよじゃまたねオリノザワとマイコにそんなつながりが。私も知らなかったわマイコの現役時代の写真を探してみましょう写真ですか現在
堀野沢信が魅力的な被写体として認識しているのは舞子だけ舞子の写真を見ればその理由がわかるかもしれない舞子さんに会って翼にないものそれを見つけるヒントがきっとあるええ手分けして畑中が言っていた舞子の写真集を探しましょうのマイコンプレックスこれが畑中さんの言ってた写真集すごい見てるだけでドキドキしてきちゃうこれがプロの作品撮る側も撮られる側も徹底的に見せることを追求し妥協していない。何かつかめそう舞子さんの写真を見ていて気づいたのどの写真の舞子さんも安心してるってトーマくんマイコンプレックス私ももっと見ていいえおおおどうしたの男なら仕方ないんすよ特にこのページとかこうプライベートを覗き見してるっていうか恋人に見せるような仕草とか表情にグッときちまうんですおかしいな映ってるのはあの舞子さんだって分かってるはずなのにで今の俺興奮しすぎそうね<笑>うわらってごまかされたともかくそれって舞子さんのこう撮ってほしいと堀野沢さんのこう撮りたいが一緒だったからじゃって思っただから舞子さんは堀野沢さんに全て委ねてこんなにドキドキする写真集ができたんだよそれに比べて私は恥ずかしい早く終わってって思いながら言われるままにポーズを取っただけそれじゃあ怒られて当然私を撮ってくれるスタッフにも見てくれる読者にも失礼だよマイコンプレックスを見てそれが分かったから私もう撮られることから逃げないカメラとそして私を見てくれる人みんなに真正面からぶつかっていかないとそっかうん翼らしいと思うそれで、いつきくんにお願い私の考えたこう取られたいってポーズに男の子目線でアドバイスして分かったよ俺の意見でよければーーーー求められるのは小手先の技術じゃないと思う思いと魂の発露だふっいつきくんもっともっといけるかな表情に憂いと恥じらいも欲しいこあこうああいいと思うけど翼ならもっともっと上を目指せる今度はポーズに喜びと期待があれば<笑>私やってみせるよコケティッシュにそれでいてソウルフルにこれでいけるかもあ
フォーマーがやったな翼上出来よそのポーズをさらに磨けばきっと堀野沢を満足させられるわ。And now that we have this special performa, we can take on the boss. Also, we got new Radiant Unity skills that we will be delving into the next episode. But yes, now we are finally ready to take on the boss of the third dungeon. And now he can no longer seal away our mirages, which means we have a fighting chance. And we are going to take care of that in the next episode of Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Thank you all so much for watching. And see you in the next episode. After I do like five levels worth of grinding, holy crud, I am weak. Anyways, see you guys then. Bye.